Don't go to sleep yet, Thomas. Someone wants to talk to you. Hello, I'm uh, sorry to disturb you. I just have a few questions to ask of you if you're willing to answer them. Hello, uh, what questions do you have? Oh, that's great, because I've been sent by the Railway's Marketing Department, and of course with Mr. Hat's permission, to ask every engine a few questions about their past so we can put it on a new info page on the website. Sounds like a good plan to me. Most people wouldn't even bother asking us engines, just like those illustrators all those years ago. What questions do you have, then? Okay, good, good. Uh, let me see here. First one is, what rebuilds did you have? You've gone under quite a few drastic modifications since being built. It's a little hazy for people who weren't actually there. Can you bring a little light to that situation? Oh, my rebuilds, of course. As I'm sure it says in the paper documents, I was built in 1915 at Brighton Works as an E2 tank engine. I caught Sodor, and the fat controller ordered that I was to be fitted with a brand new boiler as soon as possible. Because, as I'm sure, if you looked into it, you could find that E2s weren't very successful locomotives, only performing their bare minimum requirements, and, you know, that was it. So, getting a new boiler really helped me a lot, and solved a lot of issues early on. I still struggled, but not, not nearly as much. Then, sometime during World War II, I was in a nasty accident. I can elaborate further on later, if you'd like, but it required my entire cabin bunker to be completely rebuilt, and since it was the middle of war, they had to do that fast, so instead of rebuilding me properly, they gave me a flat back running board. And that's most commonly associated with how I look in the TV show and the illustrations of the book early on, and I think that's what the main inspiration was, considering it happened around that time. I spent years with that relatively odd look. I wasn't very fond of it, but it was enough. But in 1960, after my, um, <clears throat> incident at the station master's house, I was sent off to be repaired. But not only that, completely redesigned, too. As you can see now, I'm not quite a standard E2 tank engine. And, well, yeah, that's how I've been ever since. Huh. Wow. Sodor really likes their unique engines. <laughs> You're telling me. A Class 28 mogul? A prototype A1? I couldn't even tell you what Percy is. <laughs> yeah, um, alright, on to the next question then. What do you remember about, you know, the war? Any specific incidences you can recall? Ah, the war. Well, definitely busier and lots of concern about the future. I do distinctly remember the blackout regulations. James hated that. I do remember when the U.S. joined the Allied side and they sent over engines to help. They were good, they worked hard. My only grudge is they helped snuff out my class faster on the dockyards in the mainland. There was one who stayed here, though. Rosie? Rose? Something with a flower? I can't remember her name. I haven't seen her in a very long time, though. I believe she's a station pilot somewhere here. Oh, how about the books in the franchise, then? What do you think of that? Oh, well, I mean, each engine has their own opinion. After all, it is one that ended up saving our railway to an extent. It gave us a ton of publicity, and helped with passengers a lot. Well, I uh, think that's all I need for now. Thank you, Thomas. I really do appreciate it. I hope to see you again sometime. You're absolutely welcome. I hope to see you as well.